Sergeant Beast Larson. Tip number eight on how to improve your max bench. First, I'll dedicate this tip number eight. I've got orange and blue pants on. Dedicate this to the CRPS group. My lovely wife, her best friend Susan, again from Ohio. CRPS complex regional pain syndrome. It's a nerve disease that's very bad. The colors are orange and blue for fire and ice. Tip number eight. When you have a bench day, do your benching, your incline, decline if you do that in one day. Don't do flies, cable pulleys like this on the same day. As you're benching, you're using up your strength, you're weakening your chest muscles. I've learned over the years, I separate those two. Today I had some leg day, did some squats, leg extension, leg curls, some lunges, <coughs> excuse me, lunges. While I was doing that, on the machine over here, my Marcy machine, I was doing the pec day. I was doing my flies with the machine today. So I could do more weight, I could do one plate higher than if I was doing it with a bench. So I got to do more sets, more reps before I got really tired and burnt out. <clears throat> so that's my tip, that's what I've learned. Have each, each aspect, the pushing day of benching on one day, the squeezing, shaping, your flies and your dips on a different day. Some guys do it all together on one day, and that's fine. If you do try it the other way a couple times, three, four times, get the feel of it. It'll take you a few weeks. See if that doesn't improve your bench. Because both days you're fresh when you're doing a different type of chest exercises. So that's tip number eight. Split up your chest into two different days. Thanks for joining. I'll see you soon.